Did you know that a viral or bacterial infection can actually worsen your IBS? Here are the reasons why. First is that there can be a production of antibodies in response to that infection that can then impact the gut microbial community. This is what we know in post-infectious IBS and in some of the newer research for SIBO. What also can happen related to that is an increased permeability of the gut. This is that leakiness of the gut that can cause more symptoms, lead to more food reactions, and possibly lead to some low-grade inflammation in the gut and vice versa. Another thing that happens in the gut is a recruitment of more mast cells, which are immune cells in the gut, and these can degranulate and cause more symptoms, especially histamine or immune-related symptoms. Now, while we don't know exactly why to the T, we do know that a recruitment of these mast cells and the breakdown of them can lead to GI symptoms as well, and is especially correlated with diarrhea. And related to all of the above, whenever there is an immune response in the gut, that can impact the gut microbial community and may favor an environment that is less ideal, meaning you may have more food reactions, more sluggishness in the gut, altered digestion, a change in how those microbes are interacting with other parts of your body, leading to these chronic symptoms. So if you have IBS, ideally we want to take extra caution with our hygiene, with how we're interacting with others, how we're washing our hands, maybe even wear a mask in some environments in order to prevent exposure to as many viral or bacterial infections as possible. Now you can't just isolate yourself in a room, your mental health also matters. And so there will be a balance here, but it is helpful to be intentional where you can.